In today's lecture, we are going to see the operation of D flip flop. Okay, so D flip flop is also known as delay flip flop or data flip flop. In D flip flop, whatever is the input, the same appears at the output. Condition is that the clock should be high or positively edge triggered. So if you see the truth table, here clock is 1 or high or positive edge triggered then whatever is the D if D is 0 then Q will be 0 if D is 1 then Q will be 1 that is whatever is the input or whatever is the data that is appearing at the output now this is Q complement so this will be always opposite of the Q so if Q is 0 or Q is 1 then accordingly Q bar will be in complement with the Q and here you can see if clock is 0 then whatever may be the output at D nothing happens at the output if D is 0 or 1 output is not reflecting that 0 or 1 output is Q and Q bar as it is so now let's draw this digital circuit of D flip-flop and verify this operation so I'll right click here on place component I need this digital clock as clock input then I need this 0 or 1 and then I need probe also so here it is I need two probes one for Q and one for Q bar and then I need one flip flop so here it is D flip flop and let me click on this okay so this is D flip flop now here is D clock Q and Q bar there are two inputs set and reset also for this experiment for this time being we are leaving this set and reset unconnected as it is it will not cause any problem so let me do the necessary connections here so this is input data input is here and this is clock now this probe will for set output or Q output and this will be for reset or Q bar output okay so this is the simple connection of D flip-flop and let's verify the operation so when I click on this run button you can see that input is 0 and this 0 is appearing at the output 0 and 0 and since this is Q Q bar will be 1 so it is lightening up now if I change this 0 to 1 you can see that if D is 1 then Q will be 1 here it is and Q bar will be 0 condition is that clock should be high so this is basically clock and it is continuously running as 101010 that's why it is happening suppose if I remove this clock if I remove this clock let me just remove it let me delete this now this clock is not connected here and when I run this now you can see this 0 and 1 has got no change on the output you can see that 0 or 1 is not reflecting at the output whatever was the state of Q it was 0 suppose then Q bar is 1 and it is stuck at that place only okay so clock is giving that positive edge or negative edge it is changing so every time it is going to that positive edge and that's why we are getting this change in the output for positive edge of clock but if I have removed this clock any change in the input is not going to change the output so that's why we need this clock here and this is the basic operation of D flip flop and that's it for this lecture and we'll meet in the next lecture thank you